my sweet boy. Do you want to know what your name is? Do you want to know what we're going to call you? Oh, you're going to touch me? Okay. I'm okay with that. Indy used to do the same thing. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this, babe. Oh, he's so sweet. And why does he look like a miniature horse? The markings are so different than what I anticipated. So his name has to start with an O. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I'm headed to the sanctuary and it appears that everyone thinks that they might get to come along. They don't get to come along. I am headed to see the new baby and I'm so, so, so excited. And I can't wait to take you with me. Let's go. Can we just talk about how excited I am to be pulling into the sanctuary right now? Cause I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, where is that baby at? Because I can't This has been the most challenging time of my patience that I think I've ever had. I am so <laughs> excited to see this baby. Ignore that cracked windshield right there. We're not going to talk about that. Oh, Mama Santa, see you. Can't wait. Hi, Annie. Good morning, baby. I don't know how the colors got to be this way on this little one. Oh my goodness. Annie, he's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. Why are you running from me? She's like, don't touch him. And then there's Tilly over here. Oh my goodness. Listen, I didn't bring you anything great. I brought you something great, but we're not going to talk about that yet. Hi, Newt. Can we see this baby, Annie? Hi, Annie Banani. Oh, you need love first? Is that, you're demanding that? I kind of came to see a baby. Now, I can tell that Annie's pretty nervous. And I see you. I know. I'm not going to try to bring everybody near her because that's what she's afraid of. What I'm actually going to try to do is to get the rest of the goats out of here to calm Annie down. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this, babe. Oh, he's so sweet. And why does he look like a miniature horse? The markings are so different than what I anticipated. That baby is black, not even dark brown. I have so many questions right now about genetics that I just can't, I can't even believe. Oh my goodness, he's cute. So, so cute. I'm hopeful that I can get Annie in a pasture by herself. So let's get that done, done first. Okay, we've made it into a pasture all by themselves. Well. As, as alone as she's going to get. Because these two just climb right through everything. Oh my goodness. Hi Annie. How are you feeling mama? Oh this baby. I remember when Indy was this little. How sweet. You know that we're going to have to name this baby. And then I asked all of our friends online what his name would be. What do y'all think it should be, huh? So here's the thing. We have Annie, Ernie, and Indy. So we have A, E, and I. So his name has to start with an O. Oh my goodness. It's not going to be oh my goodness. But it has to be two syllables and end with an E. So we have Annie, Ernie, Indy. So it has to be O-E somehow. 
And today I asked everybody on the live what they think it should be. <laughs> Hi, sweet one. I don't understand how he's black. Because that's not even dark brown, that is black. And you're so fuzzy. And that white is the brightest of white. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're a day old and you're rolling. How sweet are you? Hi. Can I touch you? Oh, mom says no. Mom says get back over here. Annie, I bet you're hungry, huh? It's okay. So, sorry for that moment there. I just... Intimate moments with Annie. Oh! Oh no, Annie's babies are few and far between. And early on when she's still trying to recover, I know that Megan and Ellie got to touch the baby, but this was a very sentimental time for me. So we threw out the names, Oli or Ollie. We threw out the name Opie, like, October Prince, maybe and call them OP, like the letters instead of OP, just OP. And we talked about Odie or I, would, I, I thought about Otto, but that E has to happen at the end. And then we also talked about Oakley or even Oki. And I am so, so, so excited with what the majority vote was and um oh i love watching these two okay we know that andy is annie is an amazing mom i mean indy has turned out to be incredible and i'm so intrigued as to what this little boy will become But for me, the greatest mystery here really is the color. Annie, you did so good, baby. Hi, sweet boy. Do you want to know what your name is? Do you want to know what we're going to call you? Oh, you're going to touch me? Okay. I'm okay with that. Indy used to do the same thing. Can I touch you? Not you two. <laughs> so we're gonna call this little boy. Okie, as in okie dokie. That's right. We have an Annie, an Ernie, an Indy, and now an Okie. <laughs> I can't get over his leg. Little white eyebrows are gigantic. They look like gigantic eye white eyebrows. <laughs> but the biggest thing to me, obviously his color, but his socks. He has white, like, tube socks on that make him look like a miniature horse, a little pony. Annie, I'm so proud of you. She definitely told me you're all gonna think that I'm lying she told me she was pregnant out here watering her down this summer I looked right at her and I was like oh there's definitely a baby in there and no one believed me and then we have this thing we do where she blinks and I tell her I'm like blink if, if you're pregnant and she did it and no one believed me but here we are which means that she got pregnant almost between six and eight weeks after she had Indy last year. Hey, very busy. Indy was born on September 4th, 2022. And this baby was born on October 20th, 2023. Annie's an incredible mama. And alpacas, it's, it's, this is called a Korea. And they nurse for a minimum of six months. 
and it's incredibly important for him to be with mama and Annie's a Annie's a amazing mother and we'll teach him all of the things that he needs to know about how to be a protector how to be vigilant alert how to care for other animals because I'm telling you like there's a dynamic difference in in Annie and Ernie and Ernie will pull it together when he has to but Annie is like hyper aware and we think that that came from her being raised on a deer ranch because of deer being hyper aware because I'll be honest I don't know another alpaca that is like Annie I just stepped in some ants and her babies are just like her so Indy is hyper aware and hyper protective I wish they would be a little softer and a little bit more loving towards me okay that's a selfish one me but I'll take what I can get and that little curiosity that came up just a little while ago was enough and she wants him to be with her and that's okay it's important he's already don't even tell me he's nibbling on grass like she is like he's putting his face down to the ground right now he is you're not even a day old yet hi gunpowder uh oh Annie doesn't want you near her baby and that's okay but you know she doesn't care if Starla's here oh I'm so in love I am so madly, deeply in love. Welcome to the family. Oh, Starla! That was so mean! Annie, you're not going to allow that, are you? Starla, he was being sweet to you. You just ruined a moment. Apparently that was allowed, but that's not. Well, as I was saying, welcome to the family. We love you so very much. You and your little tube socks. <laughs> oh, goodness.